Welcome to my review of JTEC Digital HDMI H264 encoder. I purchased it off of Amazon for $199. Uh, it supports uh, RTSP, RTP, RTMP, HTTP, UDP, and a bunch of other. The big thing that most people will like this for is that you can do live broadcasting with it or for YouTube. Uh, and the menus are really easy. It's uh, web-based or it has a web built-in web browser. So you can go ahead and connect into it after you set it up. One caveat, and it's not there are no directions in the box, is that the network is defaulted to 192.168.1.168. So after I was able to um, get into the device, uh, I was able to change it to my own network, which is uh, I just basically changed it to .250. As you see here, that there are four streams, the mainstream plus three substreams. This is great if you want to lower your bitrate or change your resolution or do anything along that line. You also have some audio controls, which is great if you need to change any of those. That's pretty straightforward. And if you really want to tweak your uh, output, uh, you can go ahead and go into the advanced encoder and you're good to go. Uh, there's also the on-screen display. You can upload your own logo if you like, or you can display a logo on each of the zones. Uh, zones are each for each stream. Pretty straightforward. You can also, uh, as I said before, up uh, upload your logo if you want to have them printed on for a watermark. And here is the network. You can see I've changed it. Uh, normally there's a MAC address in there, but for this video I removed that. The uh, only thing I changed in here was DNS. And that was about it, other than the IP. Now to show you a live stream, I'm using um, VLC Player. Uh, I am actually recording this through QuickTime Player, but I am playing this through the VLC Player. Uh, this is uh, the Weather Channel, uh, basically an output from my cable box into uh, the encoder. You could uh, do an output from your video camera. You can do an output from any type of uh, HDMI stream into the box. So what do I think of this device? I think this device, the encoder, actually works really well. It's very simple to set up. Not really much to do other than have to change the IP address. Uh, once a couple of tweaks here and there that I made, I was able to stream very reliably, very quickly. Uh, came out of the box working. My only complaints, there was absolutely no manual and there was no manual posted on the internet until I called uh, JTAC to have them uh, at least supply me with one, which they gracefully did and they actually posted it on the web. So now that uh, if you go to their product page or support page for the device and you scroll down, you'll see there's now a manual or at least a PDF of the manual, which is uh, exactly what I was looking for. Described all the little features uh, for the most part, but it's very straightforward if you know um, how to stream or stream previously or know uh, what encoding is, you'll have no problem setting this up. It will work very easily for you and you'll be able to up and running in no time. So I highly recommend this. I give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're in the market for an encoder, uh, this is definitely uh, so far in my experience, if you, again, it's only one stream, so if you're looking for multiple streams uh, from uh, or encoding multiple streams, this wouldn't do it for you. This is one stream in. Uh, the nice part is you can set up four different substreams or three substreams, one main stream. So if you need to lower your uh, either you know your bit rate or you want to you know dumb it down to 720p or anything around that uh, area to improve. Um, you know, I guess if you're low bandwidth, lower bandwidth, over the internet, whatnot, you have those features to make that change, which really makes it a great device. So I highly recommend it. Uh, again, I picked it up off of Amazon. Uh, you can pick it off eBay or other places as well. Thanks. Please subscribe.